Hey there, this is Teacher La Podcast, episode 92, Two Languages, Two Personalities. My name is Olen, I'm an English teacher. My goal is to help you start speaking English with confidence and get rid of speaking barriers. I believe it's achievable for you and it's time you started speaking English fearlessly. Go to my website for full transcripts and worksheets to each episode. Happy learning! Welcome to today's episode. Firstly, I'd like to quote Nelson Mandela's words. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his mother language, that goes to his heart. If you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in his mother language, that goes to his heart. Language is not just words, it's identity. Did you know that no culture can sustain its existence without a language? Today we're going to dive into this fascinating topic and I will share with you my personal point of view. Do I have a different personality when speaking English? Ask yourself. I know the answer for myself. Learning another language opens up new windows of opportunities and helps us understand life better. We gain more perspectives. A new language gives us a new worldview and makes us more aware of the cultures, lifestyles, customs and beliefs of other people. So some time ago, I read this interesting article at psychologytoday.com where I found what three bilingual people said about their personality or their personalities, and I'll, I will read now what they said. Number one, when I'm around Anglo-Americans, I find myself awkward and I unable to choose my words quickly enough. When I'm amongst Latinos, Spanish speakers, I, feel, I don't feel shy at all. I'm witty, friendly, and I become very outgoing. The second person said, in English, my speech is very polite, with a relaxed tone, always saying please and excuse me. When I speak Greek, I start talking more rapidly, with a tone of anxiety and in a kind of rude way. And the third bilingual person, I find when I'm speaking Russian, I feel like a much more gentle, softer person. In English, I feel more harsh, business-like. Many bilingual or multilingual people experience feeling different or acting different across the languages they can speak, including being funnier, uh, being more goal-oriented, having a different tone of voice or different body language and so on. And I thought I'll tell you what it looks like from my perspective. There are two aspects I'd like to share today. The first is my work teaching English to individual learners during my one-to-one classes. So recently, one student told me that there was some family gathering planned for the, that week, weekend and he didn't feel like going but he mentioned it was his dad's family and I asked him this question is your father pushing you to go to that meeting let me tell you this in Polish I would never ever ever ask such a direct and personal question in English it sounds fine doesn't it And this is my life. In Polish, I am much less direct, open, straightforward. In English, it seems a lot easier to me to be open. And I'm thankful for this skill and this new personality. Well, the word personality isn't a perfect choice, but let's simplify this problem. So this foreign language allows me to be less introverted, more open. Sometimes during lessons, we talk about psychology, personality types. And every time I say I'm much closer to an introvert than to an extrovert on the spectrum, I see big eyes. People assume I'm an extrovert, open and talkative. And I am, but mainly in English. The second thing I'd like to tell you is my family life. When I talk with my son, who is currently five in English, it's just, I don't know how to describe it, but let's just say it's a different energy between us. Whether we cook, play, eat, learn or read, everything changes. Recently, I pretended that something happened to me, something <laughs> something clicked in my brain and I can't speak any Polish. And I said to him, honey, I think I won't be able to speak Polish ever again. He started crying. I know, I'm cruel, 
but I was curious <laughs> and, and it was for a good cause in the name of science. Well, he basically hated the, the idea and he was worried, he was disturbed because when you speak a foreign language, you become someone else to some extent. This all may sound as a form of split personality, like, you know, schizophrenia, but the research shows that it's not the case. Bilinguals or people speaking foreign language or languages fluently change their behavioral, cognitive and emotional response according to the cultural norms primed by the language they're using in a specific moment. I find this amazing. I would never start this podcast in Polish. So if you maybe think that you are shy, quiet, and you will never break this chain and this blockade, well, open for this possibility. Start speaking English and watch what happens. Something will happen. You will feel different. And at the beginning, it is weird to hear your voice in a foreign language, I know. But with time and practice, you will discover a new personality, so to speak. I have one proverb for you, the Czech proverb, which says, learn a new language and get a new soul. If any examples from your life are popping in your head right now, please share them with me in the comment section. I'm curious to learn about your experience with this double personality. To feel this, to even notice, you need to be fluent. You need to be able to verbalize your thoughts. This is when the magic happens. It clearly does not apply only to bilinguals, but of course, it's easier to do research in a specific group, I suppose. Nevertheless, you've probably already experienced this surprising, weird phenomenon of feeling like having different personalities when speaking different languages. Please let me know about your insights. Well, time to get you activated now. So let's begin the practical part in which you are going to repeat the sentences out loud, shall we? Number one. Did you know that no culture can sustain its existence without a language? Did you know that no culture can sustain its existence without the language? Do I have a different personality when speaking English? Do I have a different personality when speaking English? Learning another language opens up new windows of opportunities and helps us understand life better. Learning another language opens up new windows of opportunities and helps us understand life better. I find myself awkward and unable to choose my words quickly enough. I find myself awkward and unable to choose my words quickly enough. When I speak Greek, I start talking more rapidly with a tone of anxiety. When I speak Greek, I start talking more rapidly with a tone of anxiety. I find when I'm speaking Russian, I feel like a much more gentle, softer person. In English, I feel more harsh, businesslike. I find when I'm speaking Russian, I feel like a much more gentle, softer person. In English, I feel more harsh, businesslike. like 
He didn't feel like going. He didn't feel like going. In Polish, I'm much less direct, open, straightforward. In Polish, I'm much less direct, open, straightforward. I'm thankful for this skill and this new personality. I am thankful for this skill and this personality. Because when you speak a foreign language, you become someone else to some extent. Because when you speak a foreign language, you become someone else to some extent. This may all sound as a form of schizophrenia, but the research shows that's not the case. This may all sound as a form of schizophrenia, but the research shows that it's not the case. Start speaking English and watch what happens. Start speaking English and watch what happens. You need to be able to verbalize your thoughts. You need to be able to verbalize your thoughts. That's all I have today. I hope you liked it. Go to your inbox and download the worksheet to practice even more and be even more active in your learning process. Good luck. And if you are not a member and don't have any emails from me, all you need to do is to become a member. It's free and it's easy. Go to teacherola.com forward slash 92 and download the worksheet. That's it. If you find this episode useful, tell your friends about my podcast, share it with one person. It'll help me grow and spread the message. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you next Wednesday. We're going to learn some vocabulary. We'll talk about the difference between the words economic and economical. Be here next week. Happy learning. Take care. Stay fearless and say it out loud. Bye.